Get tight at the top as the air divisé as Ajax and PSV could not be separated, but the chasing pack made up some ground. But what's going to happen this week? We'll take a little look. Next! show today we'll take a look at match number 16 out on the air of the visit and we'll get to that in just one second if you're new to the channel smash that subscribe button if you bang up today with all things blackburn rules related air of the related whoa football related we're gonna go here uh no wall ruski that's right of course leaders ajax could not oust second place psv in an all tight 2-2 draw but of course what's gonna happen in a double match week this week we'll take a look at all that in just one second if you're new of course smash that subscribe big big shout out of course to the patrons you know who you are the vip gang the exclusive vip producers of the channel behind the scenes i do appreciate the support guys um so yes let's take a look at how we all got on last time around of course uh let's get into it of course games are taking place quick time so you've got to be on the, on the money here to get your picks in nice and early because it's just it's just never ending at the moment so let's kick it all back into uh to the weekend of course rkc wow well, it took on den Haag and den Haag won with a big fat one nil win boy kemper on the score sheet for them uh, to give them a double actually on the nil nil draw myself so not too brilliant uh meanwhile my dutchies my fc 20 they took care of business against FC Emin with a 4 1 win in the end. Actually, with a 2 0 win. Vladik uh, Va uh, Vakav Cherny with a couple of goals there. Quincy Maining and Jesse Bosch as well. Maybe Miguel Ayo Ajero won the score sheet for Emin as they also uh, suffered a defeat in the end. Vietnamese Arnold got back to winning ways, of course, with a 2 0 win over Hercules Almar. Called it, boys. Got the one bang on the bloody nose. Matthias Barrero on the score sheet with a couple of goals there for himself. Uh, we are Asian Almar, uh, kind of a stalled ground. It's actually the first game of 2021, I believe. Uh, is that right? Am I right on thinking that? Yes, I am, of course. Uh, so a return to the Dutch leagues. But Aizen Atmar can only muster a draw in the end over PEC's Waller. Uh, goodness gracious me. So a bit of a banana skim there. But then, goal scorer on the day for uh, both the sides. Uh, Pele Clement on the score sheet for Zawala. Frederick Matishko on the score sheet for Aizen Atmar. Unfortunately, too little too late for them. Of course, uh, FC Utrecht and Gruningen also drew. 2-2 in the end. Actually, I have a few more myself. Uh, Patrick Joosten and Georgian uh, Strand Larsen on the score sheet for Gruningen. Bart Ramazalar and Geiradiu Kirk on the score sheet for Utrecht and a 2-2 draw in the end. That was Saturday's fixture. So get into Sunday's games then Sparta against final end up as a 2-0 with for final I got that one bang on the bloody nose folks Luta Charel Gutteruda on the discussion with Nikolai Jorgensen as well uh, giving final uh, three points keep them in the, in the discussion as well uh, meanwhile head of in against Fortuna Siddard ends as a 3-1 win for Sid Fortuna Siddard giving themselves a big old push uh, in the table of course head of in, uh, fancy their chances on that one actually with the uh, tuna win for head of in. Got, it, got it wrong lads Ben Ristera George Cox and Zion Fleming on the score sheet with uh, Hank Vermin Given Hennevin a consolation, but too little, too late. VVV Venlo also got himself three points as well with a 2 1 win over Wilhelm Twey. Jean Addy van der Hayden on the score sheet for Wilhelm. Georgios Kirikamoukas with a couple of goals for VVV Venlo to give themselves two, three, two, three points. And then Ajax against PSV end up all square 2 2 in the end. Uh, goodness gracious me. Erin Zavani with a couple of goals there for PSV. Actually, M2 0 lead. Quincy Proms and Anthony again. Uh, Ajax back into it with a 2 2 result. As you can see, they're pretty. Shitty on this moment, got myself four out of five or four out of nine, which is pretty pants. Uh, how about the table though? How's it stands? Uh, take a little look at it. I actually lead the charge by one point. PSV right on your right on your your your, your curtails there. Uh, final not too far away either. As are Vietis, I know three points separate first one fourth. Is it Atmar still? Oh, they're actually bang up to date with games, of course, but they need to also kick it to top gear, as do FC20 if they want to keep their European dreams alive. Kick it off all of those. Take a look at how you all got on this 2020. Let's take a look at the, the, the criteria. Here you go. Not too shit face, Three to seven. Shit face club. Eight plus if you're lucky, which you're not. Uh, Tom Steiner, you did all right. Well done to you, of course. Uh, Ola Giojo also did very, very good as well. Of course, Gaming Child did bits. Dan Dylan Cruz did shite. Oh, my SQL, not too bad, though. Ultra Omnia did good as well. Well done, of course. Jurin Leanders also did very, very well. Of course, new to the Scene, of course, Russell Frost, well done, of course. Welcome, of course. Matt Gunner did bits, as did okay. He did okay. Last one, two, three did okay. Irish Stringer also did good. Oh, Matty Monday, you're not a patron. What am I doing? I wish I uh, But anyway, you did shit, mate. Yannick Buster did bits. Uh, Nathan Eve also did very, very well, of course. And Shepard kicked ass and took some name. Kubi Caballato also did very, very well. Let's take a look at the leaderboard for this week and this week alone. If your name's Imagine Monday, take a bloody look, son. I mean, don't look. Don't.
long look. Close your bloody eyes. But if you know it was Ivan Stringer or Shepard, take a bloody bow, son. You get yourself six out of nine. That's top draw, lads. That's top draw. Of course, Navy Navy and Elsha Remember, also did very, very well in the top five. Kicking on forward, though, let's take a look at the overall table. Take a bloody look. Take a bloody look. If your name is Russell Frost, kicking ass and taking names. 53% success rate. Uh, Matt Gunner's got 52, and as does my, uh, Omar Esquivel now into third spot at the moment with a 49% success rate. Well done, lads. Well done, of course. Well done, indeed. Of course, that's your top three, your bronze, your gold, silver, your bronze medalists, of course, in this Olympic year. Uh, let's take a look at the next round of matches then, shall we? Kicking it all off with the Vietis Arnhem up against Utrecht. Now, they played each other in the past. How many times? Of course, 76 times, 35 wins for uh, uh, Vietis, 24 wins for Utrecht, and 17 draws, of course. But the last six, he's three wins for Vietis, one win for Utrecht, and two draws. Last time out in Vietis was back into 2019 in October. Max Clark and Tim Martvarts on score sheet. Vietis Adam Mayher on score sheet. Uh, a once Rovers uh, uh, transfer target, of course, but ultimately, yeah, I think he went to AZ Outmar in the end. 2-1 win for Vietis last time around. Vietis has actually won seven last eight matches at home. Uh, they come to this, uh, you know, in uh, okay form, losing once in the past five. That one defeat was against AZ Alkmaar in the in the league as they entered 20, uh, exited 2020 with a defeat. On the flip side, four, 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 four games without defeat for uh, Utrecht. Uh, drawing three, winning one. No, not really tip-top form, but not bad either. Heading into this 11-10 for Vietis. 30-5 is your 11-5 is your away win. Of course, a win for Vietis in, uh, in, in fourth. They could actually go top of the pops with them. made a bit of a goal swing. They need a massive goal swing if it was to happen. Uh, win for Utrecht in a tenth. They could go as high as eighth in the table. Going with Vietis. I believe in them with a 2 one win in the end. Kick it off further. We have Hercules Almo. Uh, take it on, of course, FC Emin. They played each other in the past 25 times. 14 wins for Hercules. Uh, nine wins for Emin and two draws, of course. But the last six uh, sees four for Hercules. One win for Emin and one draw. Last time out in Hercules was a 2 one win for Hercules. That was back in uh, October 2019. Uh, serious dresses on the score sheet. Uh, Kiza Vendeboop with the for OG giving Hercules the three points. Hercules is actually one their last seven matches at home against FC Eminem in all competitions. Have also, uh, Eminem actually failed to win the last 20 away matches. They come to this uh, just one win in the past six for them. That one win is against uh, Groningen in the, in the cup. On the flip side, uh, just two wins in the past six games for Hercules. Uh, they've entered, uh, they've uh, started 2021 with a defeat against Vietis Arnhem. Uh, of course, look at the situation out of the boogies on this one then, shall we? We have a Hercules 43 on for the W11 to 4 is your draw, 72 is your away win. That is, of course, FC Eminem coming to this route to the foot of the table. And with them, they can't go anywhere but 18th. On the flip side, Hercules coming to this in a 13th spot in the moment, but for them, they could go as high as ninth. That's top half of the table. I've gone with a win for Hercules on this one with a one-nil win. Not pretty, but effective. Three points in the bag. Next up, we have a fruity one. PSV taking on uh, AZ Outmar. They played each other in the past 89 times. 54 wins for PSV, 21 wins for AZ Outmar, and 14 bloody draws. Uh, but the last six uh, sees uh, four wins for PSV, two for AZ Outmar, no draws. Last time out in Eindhoven was a 4 0 win for AZ Outmar. back in October 2019. Murray on Bodu with a couple of goals. Jonas Svensson and Danny Devate. Uh, Ryan Thomas got himself sent off. Who is this Ryan Thomas fella? I'm going to Google this fella. He's got an English name playing in the in the Dutch top flight. Uh, is he American? He is a, he's English. That's not what I'm on about. I'm on about a footballer. I'm on a, not that one. P.S. Bloody V. He's New Zealander. He's from he's from down under. That's one for, for the the purple hazer to think about. He's actually 26 years of age. Uh, play New Zealand international. Yep. 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 He's a midfield. midfielder. Just checking. Just checking. Uh, anyway, they played each other in the past. PSV actually won the last seven matches at home. Uh, they also AZ Alma undefeated in, in 17 last 18 matches in the Divisie. Of course, PSV come to this just losing or actually draw, uh, uh, winning five of the past six. Their only hiccup was a draw against Ajax the other day. On the flip side, unbeaten the last five. That's AZ Alma drawing back to back, though, for them. Uh, so two teams looking very, very good. Very, very good on form. Uh, but who's going to come out on top with the W? PSV 4 to 3 on for the W. 65 is your 3 to 1 is your AZ Alma. Of course, Alma come to this in fifth and with them they will remain in fifth no matter what PC come to this second and with them they will could go in fact they will go top of the pops for at least a couple of a couple of hours or at least 24 hours in the end I've gone with on this one 3-2 win for PSV at home it's tight one this one it'll upset it'll, it will be it will be a massive win for PSV statement of intent perhaps for them next up we have Fortuna Siddharth taking on of course Sparta Rotterdam they played each other in the past 58 times for 19 wins apiece and 20 draws of course but the last six what do we have in the last six we have nothing for Fortuna Siddharth two for Sparta and four draws including a draw last time around in Siddharth was a new, new draw back in September 2019 heading into Siddharth they've actually drawn the last three matches against Sparta uh, and they've also undefeated Sparta Rotterdam Sparta Rotter, Rotter, undefeated in the last six against Fortuna and Siddharth in all comps they come to this though Sparta uh, just uh, actually uh, two defeats in the past five for them um, on the flip side Siddharth coming to this unbeaten in the last five picking up four wins and a draw to beat in all competitions of course look at the situation out of the bookies on this one we have uh, Siddharth 94 for the number 52 is draw 23 to 20 is your away win of course Siddharth now into 12 for them they could actually goes high as top nine.
nine that's nine for the table of course their opposition sparta coming this in ninth anyway for them they curse she goes highest eighth in the table i've gone with on this one a one nil win for the away team that's 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 tight that's harsh that's high i said maybe maybe it could be a draw uh, i don't know this that's a tough one that's a one of the hard, that's a hard one to call that uh dan hark taking on vvv van now of course played each other in the past uh 54 times 20 wins apiece and 14 draws nice and even of course uh they played each other in the last six he's three for den hark two for venlo and one draw of course last time out in den hark was the one who went for den hark back in august 2019 uh saquil pinas <laughs> On the score sheet, Danny Post as well, get himself sent off. A VV Venom have actually lost the last four away. Den Hag have actually failed to win the last ten at home. Uh, Heading into this, of course, just one win the past six four. Uh... Who are we? Look, who we took? Dan Hag, of course, that was against Warwick the other day. On the flip side, two wins in the past six for VVV Venlo, of course, uh, beating somebody in the cup and also beating Wilhelm Tway, uh, starting off 2020 in a bang. Both of these two sides, uh, 2021, of course. Ahead against this, the, the book is odds on this one. We have 31 to 24, Den Hag, 5 to 2 is your draw, 6 to 4 is your VVV Venlo on this one. Tight one, this one, of course. Look at the situation out in the bookies on this on the table. Den Hag in 16th spot, the moment, and for them, they could go 14th uh, into 15th spot. As Venlo, and for them, they could also go as high as 13th in the table in the end. Tight, going to go with the way win on this one with the VVV Venlo victory. Uh, ben, uh, final taking on PEC Zwolle. Of course, let's take a close look at this one. Sao Sa Sha we uh, 43 times they played each other in the past. 27 wins for final, 7 wins for Zwolle, and 9 draws. But the last 6, what do we have in the last 6? Five, uh, 5 was a uh, final, 1 was for Zwolle, no draws. Last time out in final was a 1 win for final back in uh, December 2019. Stephen Berg, Royce on the score sheet with a big fat one and only goal. Uh, final actually kept clean sheet in the last 9 home matches against PEC Zwolle in all competitions. And they've also won 11 in the last 12 against Zwolle at home. Uh, they also undefeated in 28 of the last 29 matches uh, in this uh, forever. Uh, heading into this, though, just one win the past five for Zwolle. That one was against uh, Den Haag, of course, uh, back in the end of 2020, uh, of course. Uh, meanwhile, three wins the past four games for Zwolle in all competitions, of course. Their own defeat was against Beatties when they lost at home. Look at the situation out in the bookies on this one, then, shall we? What do we have on this one? 5-2-1 for final. 50-4 is your draw, and 6-1 is your Zwolle. Uh, of course, Zwolle come to this in... Do-do-do-do. Uh, 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 Where are are they? They're in 11th spot at the moment, but with them, they could go 8th, uh, whereas their opposition final are actually in 3rd, and with them, they could go top of the pops, boys and girls. Let's say top of the pops. Say top of the pops. That's right. I've gone with final on this one with a comfortable 3 0 win in the end. Into Thursday's games, we have Head and Veen taking on Warwick. Let's take a close look at this one then, shall we? Pitch of the 40 times the past 23 wins for Head and Veen, 7 wins for Warwick and Terran draws. But the last 6 is 2. Well, we will. We will. The last 6 is 4 for Head and Veen, 1 for Warwick and 1 draw. Uh, last time out in Head and Veen was a 7 goal thriller back in 2013. Uh, had him coming out on top of the 5-2 win Kenny Atibaiga Hakim Ziyech on score with Alfred Fingerbossom with a hat-trick Jen John Dean Bugawail on score with Michael Lamley as well Ingo Van Weert got himself sent off at the back end of that game too little too late well we'll go back because at least two goals in 17 last 20 matches away from home whereas Hedamine have actually lost the last three uh, both home and away they've also conceded at least two goals in their last four home matches coming to this very very shitty form for them three defeats on the spin whereas four defeats on the spin for Warwick in all comps as well look at the situation for these two out of form times seven to four, uh, seven teams, seven to four on four. Head of means, 65 is your draw, and 92 is your away win. That is RKC Warwick. Warwick come to this, of course, in 14th for one for them. They could go 13th, whereas Head of Mean come to this eighth. They can't go anywhere, anywhere, but they can only go down, of course, at the moment. Uh, they're too far away from Groningen in a seventh. I've gone with a win for Head of Mean, no two one win to get back to winning ways. Next up, we have a fruity one. It's 20 taking on Ajax, of course. Uh, they played each other in the past. 130 times, 28 wins. Just 28 wins for, for 20, 50, 72 wins for Ajax, and 30 draws. That is correct. But the last six is two. For 20, 3 for Ajax and 1 draw. They already played earlier in the campaign in Ajax. It was 2 1 win for 20. Last time they played each other in Enschkede. I know, boys, I know. Been there. Uh, it was a, a 5 2 win for Ajax. Noah Lang with a hat trick. Kalaus Jan Huntela with a couple of goals as well. Kiko Nekutuma and Eka Karatubira uh, given 20. A couple of goals. Actually, took a 2 0 lead on that one. Um, Ajax actually scored these two goals in 9 last 11 matches, where 20 of actually lost the last 3 at home. They come to this three, winning 3 and losing 3 at the past 6. Ajax and beating the last 6. Picking up back to back draws, though. Ending 2020 with a draw and starting 2021 with a, a draw as well. Uh, could be a three draws on the spin. Heading into this, of course. Let's take a look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, 7 to 1, first 20. 90 to 4 is your 3 to 1 is your Ajax. Ajax come to this. Top of the pops. Top of the pops. Oh, yeah. With that. But we top of the pops. 20 come to this in six. And for them, they could go as high as fifth in the table. I've gone with. I think I've gone stupid on this one. I've gone with a 2 2. No, it's okay. I've got, I'm happy with that. With a 2 2 draw in the end. And wrap it up. Wrap it up. It'll be Wilhelm Tway taking on Gruningen. Of course, play each other 79 times the past. 26 wins for Wilhelm. 32 wins for Gruningen. And 21 draws. Oh, yes. But the last six uh, sees two wins for for Wilhelm three for Gruningen one draw last time out in well in uh, Wilhelm was a 3-1 win for Wilhelm back in February 2020 chain only on score sheet uh, Van 
Angelis Pavildis and Mats Kuhert on score sheet with Ahmed El Mazudi on score sheet for Grunin last time around. Of course, Wilhelm have actually lost the, uh, five of the last six matches uh, in the visit. Grunin have actually scored at least two goals in the last three. Um, heading into this, um, yep, yeah, just one win the past four for Grunin in all comps. Five defeats in the past six for uh, Wilhelm. They look absolutely shite at the moment. Look at the bookies' odds on this one. Two to one for Wilhelm, five to two sure, five to four uh, for uh, Grunin on this one. Grunin comes in seventh and win for them. They could go as high as fifth, whereas Wilhelm are on the decline. They're actually in the relegation spots at the moment, but a win for them, they could jump from 17th all the way up to 14th in the table. But I've gone with Grunin on this one with a two and win away days win for them. And that's my that's my picks for this week. Of course, the double match week will be back again around about Thursday. We're gonna have to be quick on the draw, of course, for this one. Uh, but be sure to get your picks in nice. This is the table as it's as it would look like at the end of this one. Look, as you can see, PSV, Leapfrog, Ajax to go top of the pops, uh, final and third, VT's up to fourth. Grunin and Altman and 20 your top seven. Emlin and Wilhelm going down Den Haag. Not too far away either. Of course. Uh, so that's it, my friends. Be sure to get your picks in nice and early for this one. And we'll be back again, of course, with a double match double match pick right around the corner. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video some love and smash that thumbs up. Smash subscribe if you're new. New videos every single day. We've got a big, big year this year, of course. Uh, it's been a little bit hokey pokey the past few days. But hopefully this week we'll get back on track and then get things back in order. But until then, though, give the video some love and smash thumbs up. Smash subscribe. Get your picks in nice and early. And I'll see you all very soon for the next one.